Let's go three years back from now. I was honestly jealous of this <gasps> one guy during my gate preparation at Ace Academy. He wears a hoodie, he comes to class on time, and whenever the faculty teaches a topic and gives a question, he's the first one, he solves the topic and raises the hand, he answers the question. I was like, how the hell you are doing this? And when you interact with him, you can find him, he's very less stressful, way more confident and way more helpful. Unlike him, I was actually on the opposite side of the spectrum and I doesn't seem to get anything. I managed my time worst and my performance was worst. But luckily I have my friends. They provide good distractions and we watch a lot of movies if we go to a lot of hotels. My gate preparation was actually messy. It was not up to the level. I got 50 in my first attempt and guess what? In my second attempt I got 48. That is two more less than my first attempt. Now this is the situation in my home. Like my parents and my relatives, they used to say that it's okay, you tried your best. But like uh, now you try for some private job or something then you can get some growth and you can earn a lot of money and uh, some other people they will come and say like Raghu you can try for some other jobs like bank or something. Now some part of me was really really not happy about this kind of talks because I believe that anyone can do anything. There is nothing like you can't do anything. This is my belief. So one day while I was uh, scrolling through my Instagram there was one feed that Bill Gates reads one book a week. I was super fascinated. So then I checked his blog and I gone through books. With his business. That's when I started reading a lot of books. I read books about time management, mindset, how to build habits. And even I was fascinated to find books about learning how to learn. I was like, okay, this is the reality. Let's do this. For me, that gives a gateway for me to do things that my average version of myself can't able to do. So if you ask myself how to study effectively as an average student, I would say go sharpen yourself. Learn the skills that is required to get success for gate. So what I wanted to say is like when I started reading books it was actually quite exciting because it talks the problems that exactly that we are facing right now and it will provide solution for that particular problem. Like there is one idea that is really a game changer for me uh, that was from Atomic Habits which is like motivation is overrated, environment matters much more. So that was a clear idea that shows me that there are so many simple practical ways that we can apply to get the results we want. Because previously I used to think that motivation is all about self-discipline, willpower, like the thing what the rock says or uh, Gary Vano. So this one literally changed the game for me. Of course I have to share this because these are three principles that you can apply immediately and uh, get results. So I will share the three principles right now how I applied. You can also steal that and apply for your uh, studies or anything that you want to do and then we are going to the further point of this video. So the first principle is like environment should always help you to make good decisions. So what I did was I simply kept my to-do list is always visible to me. It will be visible to my bed, it will be visible from my study table so that I will be always reminded that things to do, I have a goal to achieve, as simple as that. The second is make your environment so easy to get into work. One of the instances I did was I kept the subjects that I wanted to study tomorrow. The day before that I will keep the notes near to my bed so that when I wake up the first things I will do is I will study that particular subject for 45 to 1 hour with no friction guys be so good after you study after that particular one hour so third one is like simply remove all the negative influences if you look at me i was actually a biggest instagram addict <laughs> Initially, I used to uninstall Instagram and I will try to install it again after dinner or something like that. There is an app called Readam. What I did was like I just installed that app and that app actually restricts that particular app for a particular set of time. See, this principle is same guys. You just apply it in your own life and you get results, right? So now we are going to the further part of the video. And to be honest, I never simply restricted myself only to books because whenever I feel problems, I just search in web for blogs or YouTube videos or something like that. Some of the ideas are... Elon Musk plans every minute of the day. The next day. Five minutes later. Twenty-four hours later. What? Note card over. Some of the ideas are really extreme and not so practical to apply. And some of the ideas are like, we don't know how to apply at all. And once you started reading a lot of books and when you started learning a particular set of skills, you will realize that a single book or a single video or a single blog 
will never give solution to all of your particular problems so one book will give you solutions to overcome digital distractions but it will never tell you to build good habits to make the ideas longer one book will teach you how to build better habits but it will never let you know how to remain calm under stressful conditions one book will help you build emotional resilience but it will never help you learn the science behind how your brain works It was like a lot of struggle for me when I started learning these new skills. And point when I started learning through books, blogs, or YouTube videos, I was like already wasted two years of my life. And the worst thing is like I can't able to stay in the particular point of phase in my life one more year. One of the things I really hate about gate is like it happens only one time a year. So I can't able to afford to stay in the same position again and again. But trust me, if you keep learning the skills that is required to solve all of the problems that you are facing. you are going to be in a much more better position rather than if you are staying in the same position uh, one of the advantages is like it will provide ripple effect that means like if you learned a particular skill let's say for example if you learned how to manage your uh, stress under highly stressful condition you can use it for all the phases of life you can use it for academics you can use it for research you can use it for youtube any phase of stress when you are going to face it you are going to apply the same principle and you are going to get the results because the principles are same but the thing that you are going to apply is going to be different so it is really worth it man it's really worth it not of the reason i was not active for the past 10 days was because i was actively creating a course for you it is called give you your gate exam boost i was so excited to announce that today so in that course what are the principles i have learned over the past couple of years about staying motivated managing time getting rid of distractions and learning how to learn so everything i compiled into into your course whether you are a college student or a dropper who is seriously preparing for gate this course is for you so i'll put the link in the description below just click it and you can scroll down there is an enrollment button will be there you just click it fill all of your details and just join boom that 